Oh, it's this ship. Oh, hello. Where's... Oh, there you are. I can see the moon more clearly from here. But I can feel the breeze on my face. <laughs> oh, you're being so mysterious, Joshua. Oh. Okay, looks like you aren't just trying to be cool. This is the sort of thing your job takes, isn't it? Okay, you return. Welcome back, Zealan. The moonlight. The position of the clouds. The flow of the wind. Every detail is vital. I wish to lower the possibility of failure as much as possible. Lower the... Lower the... Don't say it like that, you idiot. If you fail, you'll die. No. Don't worry. The possibility of my failure is very remote. Back in my previous life, I used to conduct missions like this every day. The real danger will come if I succeed. Hey, Joshua, you really absolutely need to do all this? Huh? You're Erebonian, same as us. I mean, yeah. Circumstances mean that none of us can really go home, but I just don't get it. Why do you feel like you owe this piddly little backwad or anything? Just let these Ouroboros idiots do whatever they want to do. And hey, it's still not too late, you know. You can come with us, away from Liberal. We can head out over some independent state and raise our flag there, you know. And hey, if you really don't like the whole Sky Bandit gig, we can try and find something else to do. I was talking to Kyle and Don. We were thinking the Bobcat could make a good legit shipping vessel. You know, speed and all. An airship delivery service. I could see it having some potential. Demand for that kind of service is certainly going up. It'd be a safer job than Sky Banditry, in any case. Well then... Technically, we, uh, do have some berths open. That you do. Once I've crushed the society's plans, and if I manage to survive, I'll think it over. Ah, uh, you needn't worry. This completes our contract. As promised, your cooperation here means I'll consider the favor you owe me redeemed. You can depart whenever. I won't mind. Get it. You idiot, moron, jerk. Who the hell was talking about debts? Forget it. Who cares about you? Let's go leap into danger and die if that's all you want to do. She has feelings for Joshua. I'm sorry, Josette. Adios's mercy. Not easy playing dumb, is it? Kyle. I do wish she'd finally grow out of her more childish tendencies. Even so, I think you could have handled that better. It's true. I cannot apologize, but I do feel sorry for what I've done to her. Man, you sure have an odd way of being nice astray. You want to make it up to her? Give that offer some serious thought. Assuming, of course, you won't be joining up again with your nice young bracer lady after this. <laughs> no, that won't be happening. In the end, the worlds we live in are too different. She and I should never meet again. It's for the best. Hmm. Well, if that's how you think. In that case, Josette's offer does have some appeal, yeah? It does. I'm going to give it some thought. Look who decided to show themselves. Don, is that them? Yeah, it's just like the lad predicted. They're approaching from the northeast. You heard the man. 
to the bridge got it Bum 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 Ooh, he has death screen. What gives me that? Ooh, ooh. write down his 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 stuff so joshua action four fade four ep cut four cast two e three Find three and information. <sighs> now he has the white Gehenna. <laughs> Actually, before we continue, I'm going to take a quick washroom break. Yeah. I haven't yet. <laughs> if you gotta get up, stretch your legs, do so. We will be back and we'll see what this start of chapter six is like. And I'm, I'm gonna say there's probably gonna be some side quests.
I would assume you all are good. Leave it to me. I'll get you home. <laughs> Wow! Comes back and gets yeeted. See how it is. <laughs> wow. Wow. You're actually being evil at the moment? Evil genius too, nice. Wow, cardboard. Wow. Ah, there you are. What's the situation? <laughs> Just as you predicted it would be. Look at the display. Altitude of 1560 yards, entering liberal, liberalian territory from the north northeast at 2100 cells per hour. With that kind of altitude and speed, they aren't normal ships. Looks like that special radar of yours is working, eh? Don't congratulate me yet. We don't know who they are. It's possible they're Erebonian scout ships or something. Kyle, do we have any visual contact yet? Got them. Sending the image to your display. Now there's no doubt. That's our target. <laughs> well, that's the Sage set then. Now it gets exciting. Let's do this then. Lad, you're ready for this, right? Absolutely. Once I'm in place, begin immediately. Uh... Don, Kyle, Josette, thank you for everything. Our relationship may have been based on a contract, but I'm glad I met you. What? what? Huh? It would be a bit more appropriate to say it once the mission's over with. But I may not get the opportunity. So let me say it now. Thank you. Be well, everyone. He just... Dramatic to the very end. Ah. Right. Even at the very end, you managed to be so uncute. What's all this thank you business with a face like you're going to walk into your execution? You think hearing that'll make me happy? You think those are the words I want to hear? Yo, set. Just promise me that you won't do anything too crazy. That you'll come back alive. Given who I'm about to pick a war with, I can't guarantee anything. But, but I will promise this. Even if I don't succeed at my goal, I will come back alive and give you all my thanks. Uh, will that be enough? Yeah. Don't forget, I collect on my promises, Buster. Oh my. What is Estelle gonna think? Altitude stable at 1559 Arge, crossing into Liberalian airspace now. Set course for Valeria Lake. Roger. 
Doesn't look like the Liberian airships noticed us. Stealth functionality. Nice little piece of tech they loaded us up with. We didn't have that doohickey we'd be causing a bit of a fuss right now, you know? I mean, forget us. Imagine what would happen if those liberal hicks saw that monster coming for them. <laughs> Don't I wish I could see that. What? Are we under attack? The hell are you idiots panicking for? Check the damn radar. Contact one small ship approaching from four o'clock. Database match found. The Kapuya Sky Bandit ship Bobcat. Rainford make. Sky Bandits? I have to give the game and the devs props for this visual that we're looking at now. One thing you want to look for in game is the water. How good the water flow is and the, the graphics of the water, but the sky is another thing. If the sky looks good too and stuff like this. Excellent. Now. Imagine if he missed the ship. All right, it worked. Oh, <laughs> so it did. Time for us to beat it then. They're going to be so confused in that cockpit. The airship is breaking off. What do we do? Do we pursue? No, leave them alone. If they were Royal Army, we'd have to pike, pike them all. But we don't have time to bother with small fries. Understood. Right now, our only job is clearing the glorious flight path. Let's head back to base for now. We should let Sir Campanella know about the bandits. Heh, <laughs> they're pulling out as well. Everything went exactly like he thought it would. Yeah. Josette, don't worry. It's Joshua Astray we're talking about. He'll come back safe. Yeah. Yeah, he will. He's got a promise to keep after all. Chapter six. The whereabouts of bonds. Oh boy, I was wondering if you wanted to get the last word in. The Blade Lord is bold, if nothing else. No kidding. And I really screwed up in letting him get away. Sorry guys, I've got no excuse. No, you made the right choice in letting him go. I, the graveyard is no place for the living to settle their arguments. Hamel, though, why is that causing an itch in my back, of, in the back of my skull? Yeah, didn't Louvet mention that before? Do you know anything, Chloe? I don't. I'm sorry. I imagine Grandmother would know something, but given that it seems to be some kind of state secret, she may not be willing to tell me until I'm older. Uh, good point. How about you, Olivier? Hamilton Erebonia, right? It is, although, if we don't speak of it much, even if we don't speak of it much, so it's always a surprise to hear it brought up in conversation. 
Oh, why is that? Tamil was a village in the southernmost reaches of the empire, near the Liberian border. I say was, for you will find it on no map of the empire today. Huh? It's gone. It's not gone, is it? The village was demolished in a landslide some time ago. A number of the residents lost their lives then. As I understand it, it is now little more than an empty ruins and ghosts. That's awful. So that's it, huh? But, but still, even if a lot of people died, there's no excuse for his actions. I have undersold the scale of the disaster. I have undersold the scale of the disaster, I think. Rumor says that very few of the villagers survived. Only rescue units saw precisely what happened, but few living these days can claim to know a Hamel resident. It was that bad? It's not unheard of for landslides to su swallow entire settlements. They're sometimes called mountain tsunamis because of how they create waves of pure rock and earth. An odd thing to suddenly bring up in context, however. I mean, what in the world would Hamill have to do with Her Majesty and General Morgan? Or Liberal at all? Alas, at this point, we don't know enough to confirm or deny anything. Hmm, let me poke around my old nose around the various corners of the guild to see what I can find out. And enough about Hamill for now. We've other business. First of all, let me give you payment for all you've done. Receive payment for Dragon Assault Case. That's it. Receive payment for Dragon Pursuit. A little better. You went through quite a lot with this dragon mess. You've done the name of the guild proud. <laughs> you really think so? We still didn't stop whatever experiment they're, they were running. Don't think we can claim much of a victory on this one. This also means we've conducted, they've conducted experiments in all of Liberal's major regions. We have to figure out what the society's pl society plans to do next as soon as we can. Yeah, it's about that. Why don't you take a little break for a little while? Huh? Rest? Ashera just said, Oh, I've heard, but I'm serious. I've been running around for Wanda Gransel to here, solving case after case with barely so much as time to sleep. You don't take at least a single moment to unwind, you'll snap your springs. But we can't just take a break in the middle of something so important. We need to be able to get out there if, if they pull something. I don't know if we can just slack off, but the old man does have a point. The army's patrols have kicked into high gear thanks to all the dragon shenanigans. They should be able to handle any immediate danger, I think. And I've been meaning to mention, it seems Kurt's team has found it. Huh? It? Wait, like... You mean they found Ouroboros' base? Yes, Kurt reported they got a solid lead a few days ago. I can pinpoint the base you'll be busy again soon enough so i really think it would be a good idea to rest while you can yeah i see hmm in that case i'll take you up on that logren remember part of a bracer's duty is to ensure he can keep performing his duties getting rest is part of that true enough well i guess the world ain't gonna end if we take a breather Ah, uh, how the music changes. <laughs> Bracer wisdom prevails again. Zin, you are a sage and a gentleman. Still, Lugrin, given that you're suggesting a break, I assume you have a de destination in mind? <laughs> Sharp, Olivier. Truth be told, I got a little something nice from Mayor Maybell. She wanted to separate from your normal pay for the dragon business huh what else could she be paying us with oh just a reservation at the kingfisher inn at the lakefront to the south 
She's paid for all of you to stay there for three days. Seriously? Sweet. Received overnight ticket. Ah, the hospitality of Bose's beautiful mayor once again shines like a beacon through the fog of weariness. <laughs> yes, it just it's just like Maybell to do something like this. So we're going on vacation, right? To the Kingfisher Inn? Mm-hmm, that's right. It's a luxurious inn with a fantastic view of Valeria Lake. They're famous for their food, fine spirits, and they provide boats for going out onto the lake. <laughs> sounds great. This does sound like a nice little vacation. Yeah, if we got to take a load off, Kingfisher's close to the best place in Liberal to do it. You got that right. Let's not waste Mayor Maybell's kindness, guys. Come on. It's asking me to change equipment. Oh boy. We beat a dragon and are rewarded with a few nights at a bed and breakfast that smells like fish. And don't forget dragon. The, dragons, the dragon went into the lake as well. So what did he have? I have mind four. Shadow spear gives me that. Action three. Hooray! We do not have to be forced with other party members. Exactly. I love it. I wonder if action four would get it. You get out of the T day, you're useless. <laughs> I'm going to leave it like that for now. That is the one thing that doesn't bother me, that does bother me. It's a matter of being forced into the party, so it kind of makes me not use certain people, right? Oh, in that case... Um... Do, 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 do
If I get EP cut four, will it do it? He has evade four. I'll put evade three on him. now have everything on her that Joshua had. The only thing I don't have is information and okay, he has, she has white Genna, Hell's Gate Spirit. So the only thing that he she got now that Joshua does Joshua didn't have was so she has action four evade four EP cut three but I need EP cut four cast two I have mind four and then information that for now well then we'll head for the kingfisher and ahead of you thanks for doing this guys make sure we get all we all get checked in uh logren called ahead so getting rooms for everyone shouldn't be too hard leave it to us estelle okay so we have a bit to do so this will be great Okay, so we should probably check the guild board just in case, don't you think? I mean, the whole dragon mess has tied has tied down. But it might have kicked up some other issues, and I'm still kind of worried. Lugrin did have a kind of a point, remember? Let's not kill ourselves on work for once and actually go and enjoy a bit of rest. You have a point. All right, let's just tie up loose ends and head for Valeria Lake. Let's... Memories of distant days. I'm searching for a relative who went missing 10 years ago. For details, please come for an exclamation from me. 
I will be waiting at Kershey's Burr. Looking for a bracer to escort to Ravenu Village. People, person to be escorted is one young woman. Request is only for one way. South Block, Central Street, 1-1, Trino Manor, 2nd Floor, Murano. So we have a bit to do. Oh, the, the place is open back up. Nice. We have a little bit to do. Um, let me see if I can get EP cut for... Oh, I need some Sepeth. I need some Sepeth. Six hundred and four hundred. Oh, dear Lord. Um, excuse me. You're Miss Murano, right? Yes, that's right. You all must be bracers. I am but an assistant, but you are correct. You desire an escort to Revenue Village, yes? That's right. I'd like to head there to that lovely little town and have a look at their orchards. Though, if I may, you look a little young for bracer. Are you quite sure you can do this? Excuse me, ma'am. I am a certified senior bracer. I'm totally capable of doing this. I'll vouch for her abilities. If that's not good enough, then you're welcome to find someone else, ma'am. Oh my, I suppose you really can't judge by a cover. I always liked putting in my own covers of, on my books anyway. I'll trust you, young lady. How about it? Shall we be off? Sure. We're ready when you are. Very good. Let's be off. So we're going to Ravenu, right? In that case, we'll want to head to the west gate of the city. Yes, that's right. Th and then up to the mountain road. I'll meet you by the west gate. I imagine you have a few things to prepare before we go. Yeah, a little prep time would be great. Thanks. We'll be right there. Very good. Don't keep me waiting long now. <clears throat> we leave her waiting like 14 hours. Let's get going. All right. I guess I should talk to the one in the bar as well. Just in case the, um, Pardon, can I have a moment? Of course. What is it? Are you Corna? We're from the Bracer Guild. Oh my, yes. Thank you for coming. I've been waiting. This must be about my request. Nice to meet you then. I'm Estelle Bright, Senior Bracer. My apologies for calling you, calling on you like this. But I fear I have no other resources left to me. This is, this will take some time to explain. Can you hear me out? Of course. Go ahead. When I first played these games, I think Murano was one of my favorite NPCs, kind of highlighting how some NPCs just persistently exist in their own things they're doing. Yeah, that's what I like about this. Like, it reminds me of like games like Swicoden and, um, oh, what's, what's another game? But anyways, it gives NPCs actual names instead of just going like walking up and saying, oh, hey, that's the bartender. Like they actually give the NPCs each individual names and personalities. And depending on how the story goes, they change their dialogue as well. No need to stand around like this. How about we have a seat? Good idea. Let me see if I can claim us a table. Don't think that's a problem. 
It feels like a well-crafted D&D campaign. Yes. That's exactly... Oh, I miss D&D. We used to play D&D all the time. I used to... Uh, I used to play a elven... An elven ranger. Uh, in most of the campaigns. I used to play the same thing all the time. Uh, I used to switch it up though. One one I used to do was a, a ranged ranger and another campaign that we played, I did a ampidextrous dual wielding. It was quite fun. So from your posting, ma'am, you're searching for someone, right? Something about a person missing from 10 years. Yes, I'm searching for my niece. Her name is Raina or Rainy. Rainy, Rainy, Rainy. If she's alive, she would be about 20 now. Wait, if she's alive, I don't quite. Wait, 10 years ago? I think I get. I, I think I get what this is about now. The Hundred Days War, yes? Oh, yes, exactly. When hostilities broke out, my sister was staying in the city. She wasn't able to get out before the Imperial Army reached the city. That's quite the acquaintance of my sisters. I soon learned of her and her husband's passing. And while I never had word of exactly what happened to Rainy, well, it was easy, it was easy to just assume. It's been 10 long years. I'd completely given up, assuming Rainy had long since joined the goddess. But very recently, I learned something new. A source told me that Rainy had not only survived, but had been adopted by someone here in Bose. So then you think Rainy's alive? Honestly, I don't know. I barely dare to hope. And what's worse, my source was vague. I have no idea who adopted her. Oof. That makes things harder. But my heart tells me to believe. I believe my sweet little girl my, my sister loved is still alive. I must believe. Which is why I beg you, help me. I think we can all understand where you're coming from, ma'am. I definitely think it's worth investigating. We don't have much in the way of clues, though. All we have is a name and an age, right? I do have a photograph of Rainy as well. A photo? That'd help. Yes, it's not much, but... <laughs> She's adorable. Yeah, no kidding. She's, what, 10 in this photo, right? Yes, it was taken right on her 10th birthday. Just before her family left on holiday. Estelle, is something bothering you? Oh, uh, it's nothing really. I was just kind of mad, I guess. An innocent kid like that caught up in a stup in that stupid war. Yeah, know what you mean, Estelle. Which is why it's our duty to reunite this girl with her family. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. We'd like to borrow the photograph if you don't mind, ma'am. Please, by all means. Received photograph. Well, we know what she looks like now, but how about we actually, how are we actually gonna do this? Rainy could be anywhere. She might not even be in Bose anymore. If nothing else, we have that photo. We can show it around and see if anyone remembers or recognizes her. Do you think that'll work? Yeah, I should. I mean, in some ways, 10 years ain't that long. Even if they don't remember exactly who she is, they'll at least remember who she is. It is our best shot, I guess. Let's get starting as let's start asking around then. Please, you are my only hope. Estelle, please. You are my only hope. <laughs> if you find anything out, come by here again. We will. I'm currently playing a druid in space. Wait, in space? All right, so let's ask around the city first. Hmm. A spell jammer campaign setting, interesting. Bow, 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 bow,
Right now I'm playing a cleric in the rhyme of a frostbade module. I haven't, I, last time I played D&D &D was fourth generation. 35 sessions in and at this rate of play, it's going to be over a hundred sessions. So we played um, fourth gen and I, I got in on the campaign. Um, I got in on the campaign like part ways through and they've been going for a year already and they got together every Sunday. Uh, the campaign took three years and we still didn't finish it. I think we were level 14. Yeah, I think we were level 14 when we stopped. Magic powered boats that can fly. I can fly. Spell back spell jammer is a wacky is wacky as heck. Love it. I haven't looked into any of the new stuff yet. I kinda like I know I know people play like over Discord and that, but um I'd prefer to do it in person. One of these days I may if they start up the campaign again, because there was a bunch of us. There was like seven of us that don't we ended up uh we ended up stopping and doing board games instead we're playing old spell jammer second edition now that that's the that's the edition I started with. In well, I was gonna say in this very room, but I didn't own the house in. Uh, it's a it's a room that was similar to the size of this, and this room is um, seven by nine. <laughs> Thank you for all your hard work. If you're wondering about the Goldia crystal, don't worry. I'll use it very carefully. By the way, has Logren told you about the arrangements I made? Yeah, he to just told us. We'll be glad to uh, abuse your hospitality, if you don't mind. Abuse, abuse it to your heart's content. I know it isn't much of a holiday, but do try to get some rest. Don't get to tell us twice. Yeah, don't worry. We'll take it easy. They do say resting is a part of a bracer's job. Have a good holiday, everyone. It's a persistent campaign. Uh, it's been a persistent campaign for about four years now. Once a week for four hours on the DM's Twitch channel. Nice. Can I have to use Discord for voice and roll 20? Uh, only three of us are on this continent. E gotcha, gotcha. That's the hotel. 
I love all the tools that are available for online play now, but there's always something uh, special about it in person. It is. We used to have a we used to make a big evening of it. So we used to do Sunday evenings about uh, 630, 7 o'clock by the time a few of us got off work. Uh, for those that worked Sunday. Um, so we used to grab snacks. Someone used to grab coffee for us. Um, we'd order, uh, we'd order pizza from a local spot and they had, um, they'd have, uh, we'd order like a vegetarian pizza for one with on whole wheat crust. It was absolutely amazing. Have a few drinks, that type of thing. Laugh. But we ended up we ended up turning it into board games. We uh, we delayed the start of our frost mating campaign because of pandemic junk. Yeah. Hopefully it'll all hopefully you can get that back to that soon. Uh, I was already here. Um. in here I've been waiting. Shall we proceed then? Whenever you're ready, ma'am. Our goal is Ravenue Village, right? Yeah, we all know that road by now, but don't forget, we're escorting a civvy. Let's avoid monsters along the road as much as we can. Yes, quite so. What a waste of time a fight would be, too. Why, keep me out of danger, and I may just give you all a nice little bonus. We'll do our best, ma'am. Let's be off then. So let's let's hope that we don't get into a fight, because I want to see if we get a bonus. Oh, that was close. <laughs> I should probably do this. Where's the orbman? Do 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 do
I have to go all the way back to Neville Valley, too. Just because I know I missed a chest. I have a feeling there was a chest in that area that I never went into before I fought the dragon. So it's exactly as I heard. We've already started to rebuild their orchards little by little. We ain't gonna get uh, get it all back in a day, but they're gonna do. They're going in the right direction, that's for sure. Yeah, they're getting all kinds of help from all over too. I'm sure they'll be just fine. Yes, I believe in them. I wish we merchants could be of some aid to them. Huh? Morano, are you thinking of trying to save revenue? Oh my, no. I have no intention of setting myself up as some kind of savior of these people. I'm ultimately just here for business. I'm going to look at the orchards and get a feel for how bad the situation is. Of course, if things are looking up, I can always invest. Well then, I should be getting to work. Okay. That means this is goodbye then. It is indeed. I must declare I sh sorely misjudged you earlier. I'll contact Lugrin and arrange a bonus for you. Huh? Really? Why would I lie about a thing like that? You've earned it. Be careful on your way back. We will be. Good luck with all your with your work. Bonus. Bonus. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Usually like ten. Maybe there's ten. I miss Bracer. And it gets here too. It gets back. It gets back. Hey, Louie. What's up, Squirt? You seem like you're doing all good. Yeah, I'm okay. Especially since the scary dragon is gone now, right? Yeah, don't worry. That kind of thing will never happen again. So you play it outside as much as you want, okay? Okay. Oh, but now that we play outside, I'll give you this book. Hey! See you later. I'm still kind of ticked off that um I don't have book three. don't have book three, which is just sad. I forgot her name is Orange. Elected to accept Ragnar's Goldia crystal as his apology. To use every single mirror it brings us to restore the village.
I don't need to go there. So we have to go to Nebel Valley. We have to talk to, we'll go to Hawken Gate. Maybe we should go to Crone Pass just in case we not nah, I'm not gonna go to Crone Pass. Oops. Oh look, I have to fix our fighting for uh, formation again. Lovely. Take that. Figured he'd run. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba -da. Oak. Did a little Four. Oh, how lovely. Yeah, we'll go, we'll go Chrome Pass. Do you, do you? Much as I don't want to, well, we have to. We have to check on this missing person of Ten years. I don't think I'm going to find anything here, but... There should be an item that you can get that would just transport you back to the guild. It, it would make life a lot easier. <laughs> So we've been there, then there. Uh, so Hawken Gate. 
Vert Bridge. No, I don't need to go to Vert Bridge. Um, actually, we might have to. We'll do Hawking Gate, Nebel Valley, Vert Bridge. Almost like to I'm, I'm probably gonna say the shining palms are in uh Ambril Tower. The only place I haven't found them. Uh yeah, we're going this way. If there is any in this chapter. Um let's see what this I've noticed though that this game arts is definitely going to be the, the factor again I think for the end or for most of the game because arts it does more damage let's be honest Take that. although it gets full physical so it's not too bad But I'm finding this game don't give you enough uh, Sepith. That's why you need to grind the the palms. Akin Gate. Bum, bum, bum. Do, 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 General. Everyone good work with the dragon. I guess you're from your faces what you're here to ask, but I can say nothing more regarding the matter. Please understand. Bye, General. Do, 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 do
Hey! It's too bad we still don't have volume three. Don't tell me I have to do this. I okay, know. Okay. I was gonna say. Do, 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 do. Okay, so no Hawking Gate. Wow! I see how it is, sir. I see how it is. I, I have I have such an ugly mug tonight for camera. <laughs> Appreciate you, cardboard. Nibble Valley, so Vert Bridge first. Skipping a lot of these because you may not get any experience from them, so. So that's for Nebel Valley. This should be for Verd Bridge. I didn't know there was like a rest area here. Interesting. Very interesting. So the next thing we have to do Nebel Valley. Yay. No, no. 
Oak. I mean, it's 11 HP. It's not one, it's 11. come here for one thing oh no hold on hold on let me go see if this guy says anything else i forgot there was this guy over here we had to talk to Ah, it's you guys. Sounds like you kids managed to calm the ancient dragon down without any problem cropping up. Thanks for that, by the way. Living next to a raging flying legend wasn't exactly something I was looking forward to. We really couldn't have done it without your help, Mr. Wemler. Seriously, we owe you one. I'll say, we're the ones who should be thanking you, old timer. You all came all the way out here just to say that? Hmm, well, don't you have all the free time in the world? That's, um, not really the reason where, though, I guess it is kind of true. Well, either way, I'm grateful. If you ever need any, need to take a load off, you're always welcome here. Also, if you're hungry, feel free to help yourself to some of the stew in the pot over there. Oh, you don't mind if we have a bite to eat? Least I can do. Eating that takes a fair bit of courage, mind you. Still figure bracers like you would work up an appetite with all them suck waffles you get into anything's worth trying once right go on have some eat dark stew unfortunately learn dark stew recipe uh you kids down that like it was nothing come by again anytime you like you'll always be welcome under this roof The work of a madman tastes dangerously good. Why is there a question mark? That's why there's a question mark. See Estelle's health. Thirty-three health. What can I eat? I need to learn another recipe. Refresh jelly. <laughs> Shellfish dish. Boom, 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 boom. Shellfish dish. Firefly fungus, aged misho, vintage wine, tender whitefish, fish fillet, and monster carapace. Ooh. <sighs> okay. I need to actually eat some of those recipes just so I can learn them. Now let's go to 
this area again. Shit. Ready? Ancient dragon dwelling. Oh, I like these. Are you naming dragon? What, what what you got? Anything good? inside okay pretzels you know that's something I haven't picked up in a while is pretzels now I want pretzels you have dumplings oh we usually have dumplings, like, on like a Sunday dinner. We're on a call. Was it a work call? It was a work call, wasn't it? Yeah, we usually have dumplings like on sun for Sunday dinner. Um, so we usually have like potato, carrot, turnip. Um, bread pudding, dumplings. Um, Well, salt meat or salt riblets. Turkey, chicken, ham. No. Depends on what we're in the mood for. A friend of mine makes them often and gave me a bunch. Mmm. Nom, 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 nom. There's nothing in the chest. You briefly wonder if you could use it as a makeshift boat. <laughs> I don't know what you expected. This chest remembers your previous visit and is none too happy to see you return. <laughs> Oh. 
Nice. I need to create a thing for the timer. Uh, a message for the timer saying uh, that, there, that there's gambling. Hunk. And just because we're here, we're going to check this again. We have yet to find anybody about this whole missing person, though, which kind of makes me wonder. the wrong way wrong way nothing there nothing there this way opening um I went the wrong way. I went the wrong way. Um, da -da 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 -da. Oh, he got his even number. Cardboard lost everything. <laughs> Come <laughs> on. 
All or nothing. All or nothing. I should check to see if that vest fits, uh, Bowie. Final break two. Oh lord. One twenty two. Okay, um, we got Nibble Valley done. So the only, the only place left is really Valeria Lake. wondering if I should go there. I don't want to progress the story just yet. But we might have to. And hope. I'll save it beforehand. And I'll hope that we can go there and then finish off this quest because hopefully we'll have to go to Valeria Lake in order to finish this quest in order to turn it in. Do, 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 bum, bum, bum. I have to be able to do. I will save there. I've spoke to everybody in here. I've pretty much spoken to everybody everywhere. Except for Valeria Lake. So let's let's hope. That's Ambrel Tower. Finally back. All the danger cleared up. Time to relax and wet my line. Somehow I just can't stop fishing. I'll keep doing it even if I had to pawn off the wife. Oh, oh, oh. That's gonna have a happy ending, I'm sure. <laughs> what wonderful invigorating weather. Today's the last day of vacation for my husband and me. I've beaten him handily in fishing and now I can go home and feeling great. Do, 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 do. Onions! 
onion. We have onion. And here's the rest of them. What? Kevin, what are you doing here? Oh, it's a long and harrowing story. We happened to run into him on the road. So we invited him to join us. On the road? Why were you traveling again, Kevin? To be honest, my goal was to investigate the Ambril Tower. After we said our goodbyes and Roland, I've been running around looking into all the towers. All the towers? That makes it sound like you've visited the others already. Yep, I've been busy with that pretty much. That's why I was kind of AWOL during the whole dragon business. Sorry I couldn't give a hand with that. I figured you guys might come out here for a break after that, so... That makes sense. Well then, should we head... Should we have a sit down right now? How's about we do it over dinner? That'll help the uh, information flow freely, you know? Oh yeah. Er, so you're really staying here, Kevin? <laughs> well, from what I hear, this is a pretty famous inn, right? Like your friend said, I figured I'd join the festivities, if you don't mind. That's uh, kind of bit of the blue. You have helped us a lot, out a lot, though. What do you think, guys? I ain't got a problem with it. Hmm, it is, it is not a nice way to settle our debt to a good, to the good father. Yeah, I want him to stay too. I see no reason to object. <laughs> I wonder if it's fate bringing us together. Well, if he's here, let's have some fun. Thank you. Ain't much in the way of thanks, but if you still got stuff that needs doing, I'll be happy to tag along. Abuse me as much as you need. <sighs> that one can be added to the quotes if you want. <laughs> we do have a quote system. <laughs> <laughs> Still have business. Sure. Well, if you want to help with something, Kevin. He's level 65. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Shall we? Shall we? Leave it to me. Together now. <sighs> you do not have the orbments I need. Come here, best boy. Ah, uh, Stell, have you finished your heavy labors? Change party. Let's do it. Your aid, right, please. Together now. Um, um, Now I'm a bit confused. So I know what I must do. I think. So we have Kevin. I'm going to set his... I'm going to set everybody's Sepeth up later
do 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 What's up, Noro? Welcome in. How are you? Still at work? Nice. Hopefully work goes by quickly for you. About in about two hours. So tomorrow to do though. Well, I hope I hope it runs smoothly for you. I know work can be a pain sometimes. Do 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 be okay. Can't really complain. Well, that's good. almost have everything in terms of ingredients <laughs> Afraid of that. No. So I'm doing a side quest where I have to go around and show this picture. And I haven't actually been going into the menu and showing the picture. I've been talking to people automatically thinking that, hey, we're going to show you the picture. <gasps> this is. Estelle, where in the world did you get this picture? Uh, well, Estelle explained that the group was looking for Corna's niece, who went missing in the Hundred Days War. Is that so? Why has this come up now? 
all of this all of all times why do we get the feeling you have some idea of what's up i i may at that out of curiosity have you shown that photograph to lila yet to lila no not yet do that first then i think you may obtain a clue of some kind Sure. Uh, yeah. You see, Estelle explained the group that the group was looking for Corna's niece, who went missing in the Hundred Days War. I, I see. Do you have any idea who's in this photo? It's her, isn't it? It is her. I, I, I know it is. No, I'm afraid not. You're sure? You looked just a bit surprised when you saw it. Yes, I was struck by how much that girl resembles an acquaintance. I was a little unsure if it was her. Oh, okay. Sort of odd, though. <clears throat> Mayor Maybell said you might have some kind of clue for us. Is that so? I'm sorry, but I must get back to work. Please, pardon me. Like... Lila is like, glad Estelle is a bit stupid, right? Everyone, I wonder. Have you shown that photograph to Lila yet? Yeah, we had her look at it. Did you now? Did she say anything? Yeah, she really freaked out for a moment when she saw it. She didn't say much of anything, though. Though it was so obvious she was hiding something, it almost hurt. I see. Blast it, Lila. Why? Uh, I suppose it falls to me to explain. Uh, I think I'm a little lost. You know the girl in the picture? Of course I do. I've known the girl in that picture for ages, and she's very important to me. Because the girl in that picture is Lila. Called it! Say what? Oh my... Oh, ho the orchestra hits as the truth is revealed to the stage. Um, you're sure? Completely and absolutely. Lila came to our home on a certain day 10 years ago. The day the army of Erebonia began its assault on the city of Bos. No way. When father returned after assisting in the evacuation of much of the citizenry, he had a girl with him. Father would only say that she had been entrusted to him by strangers. That girl was Lila. Now that I look, she was even wearing the same clothes then, though they were bloody and torn. Yeah, that matches Corna's story. and even fills in some of the gaps and questions. Looks like we have our girl. One thing though, the names. We're looking for a girl named Rainy, not Lila. Rainy? So that was Lila's old name. Uh, yeah, that's what Corna told us at least. Hang on, you didn't know Lila's real name, Mayor Mabel? No, she never told us. But wait a tick, she didn't tell you her name? She was 10 years old. Can't imagine she didn't know her own name. I wish she could have given us her name or anything in those days. When Lila came to live with us, she could barely say anything at all. How could I even describe it? It was as if she was in a state where she'd forgotten how to speak entirely. How would that even... Extremes of duress can it cause one to lose the ability to speak. I know of all too many examples of that happening, courtesy of the horrors of war. For a ten-year-old girl to experience the same horrors as silent soldiers? Unspeakable. Yes, her soul was far more hurt than her body was when she came to live with us. We all tried our best, but Lila always kept a little distance between herself and everyone else. So we never learned her true name. So how did she get the name Lila then? Father gave it to her. It was inconvenient, to say the least, for her to remain nameless. I see. 
I think we get it. Only thing to do now is just ask her. Yes, there's only one thing to do. Let me get Sarah to bring her here. I've brought her, milady. Thank you, Sarah. Would you leave us for a bit? Of course. Pardon me. Lila, come here. What would you ask of me, Miss Maybell? Our Bracer friends showed me this photograph. That's certainly a familiar face, isn't it? Lila, this is you, isn't it? I think I can guess why you're remaining quiet. You're concerned about father, aren't you? I know you feel as though you owe father a great debt, but Lila, I don't want that to be a burden on your life, and I know he wouldn't either. A burden? Yes. It's why you haven't said anything about this all, all this time, isn't it? You feel obligated to remain here out of debt to what father did. That is, well, father said it often, didn't he? Those trapped by the shackles of the past can never blaze a new trail. Lila, you've done more for our family than could ever have been expected or asked of you. You don't need to keep shackling yourself to the past. Go meet this Corna woman. Meet her and reclaim your life. Miss Maybell, I understand what you're trying to say. Unfortunately, however, the rainy you are searching for is no longer with us. Huh? What do you mean? Rainy was killed in the Hundred Days War alongside her parents. She rests peacefully somewhere in this land. That is what I've told myself all these years. Because... Because if I didn't, it would be too sad. Too lonely to... To bear. Oh, Lila. Lila. I can't believe this. I've been such an idiot. You've been bearing all this within all, you all this time? I should have... Um... Lila, I don't think you need to lie to yourself anymore. Do you, don't you? I'm sorry. Mayor Maybell, Sarah, Maynard, the people of the market, I bet a lot of others around town too. Everyone thinks of you as part of their family, Lila. There's no way you're alone anymore. Estelle, I think so as well. Hmm, damn straight. Hmm, indeed. If nothing else, you have the passionate love of Olivier Lenheim. Lila, are you listening? Do you need... Do you see what they mean? You're one of the most... No. With father gone, you... You're the most precious, important person in my life. So, saying you're alone like that? Please. Please don't say something so terribly sad. You've never been alone. Lila, ever. Miss Maybell. And Lila? Lying to yourself to forget something painful? It's exactly what Father hated to see. Someone trapped by their past. Father entrusted us both with such a valuable lesson. Please don't let it go to waste. Lila, go meet Corna, please. Or does what Father taught us mean so little to you? I... Very well. I'll accept defeat. Uh, Miss Maybell, you're terrible. How is anyone meant to say no to an argument like that? That, my dear Lila, is the secret to driving a hard bargain. Always good to see a happy ending to stuff like this. Phew, good to see that's all settled. Yes, I'm glad. Come on then, let's go meet her. Pardon? Go meet... You're coming, Miss May Mayor Maybell. Hey, it's cool. She's basically going to be representing her old man. I can get behind that. Yes, yes, precisely. Come on, Lila. Let's be off. All right. I'll accompany you then. Oh, no, you don't. I'm the one accompanying you this time. Come on, get in front of me. Left, right, left, right. Let's go. But, 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 
It's okay, Lila. After all, you're the star this time. Precisely. See? Listen to the smart bracer lady. Come on. Hurry now. I'll be right behind you. Hey, Belle. She's being told. I see. You think things got so complicated. Rainy, I'm so, so sorry we didn't come looking for you. I wish we could have found you sooner. No, Auntie, don't apologize. It wasn't anyone's fault except maybe that of the times. And over the last ten years, I can honestly say I've been very happy. Miss Maybell, thank you so very much. I owe you and your father a debt that can never be repaid. No, not at all. If anything, I should be grateful to you and your sister and, hus and her husband. Lila has been such an important part of my life. Er, ahem. I should say, Rainy. I'm sorry. No, please. Call her as you have. This is the name she has here, after all. And I am glad to know she has been safe and happy, no matter her name. Miss Maybell, I beg of you. Please continue to take care of her. Er, well, I would certainly love for her to remain with us, but do you not intend to take her home with you? Oh, I planned to at first, of course, but seeing her now, I couldn't be so cruel. To continue living here with the people she loves and all her friends, no one who loves her could take that away from her. Auntie Corna. Now, now, Dumpling. Don't make that face. Of course, I do hope you'll visit your uncle and me every once in a while. I know the distance will be will make it difficult, but we would both love it. Why would distance be an issue? Ah, I didn't mention, but our home is quite far away. You know where the lemon le the the lemon. You know where Lemon State is, I take it. The Lemon State? Of course, I've heard of it. That's where the guild has its training ground and headquarters. Yeah, I think most bracers know about it. I see. So Lila's not from Liberal. That does sort of explain the kind of unique feelings she's always given off. Even by airship, it's quite a trip. I do hope you will come and visit someday. But even then, I will still keep in touch. I will too. I promise I will find time to visit. I will be counting the days until then. Now... Rainy, let me get another good look at you. Ah, uh, you really are the image of your mother. I look like... Mother? That you do. Not just in appearance, but even in the way you move. Your speech? You really are so like your mother when she was your age. I'm sure she has been watching over you. you your wonderful new friends and family. It's what she would have wanted. Live happily, my Rainy, for your mother's sake as well. I will, Auntie. I promise I will. Memories of a distant day completed. Just in time, too. Say, Lila. Yes, Miss Maybell? About what we were discussing earlier. When were you planning on doing it? My trip back to Liman, you mean? I haven't quite decided yet. All right. Just to be sure and let me know when you're going well in advance, okay? I'll need to adjust my schedule. What do you mean, Miss Maybell? Well, I am going with you, after all. I really want to see what your home was like. Besides... Besides what? I was thinking it would be really nice to hear some stories from your childhood. I know you've heard all sorts of stories about me from before you came to live here. And I need to find some kind of embarrassing chink in that armor of yours, or I won't be able to do anything with you. So you're after, after my naughtiest secrets. <laughs> well, I'm afraid I shall have to disappoint you, Miss Maybell. My early childhood was one of exquisite conduct. Unlike certain infamous tomboys who would be scandalized should their past be made public, I have no nothing to fear. Oh, really? 
I wouldn't underestimate my ability to sniff out the truth if I were you. <laughs> well, let's see what you can manage. I'll let you know as soon as I've made a decision. Please do, Lila. Anyway, what's on the agenda for today? You have your regularly scheduled meetings inside the manor from morning until tea time. Afterwards, you will attend the review board for applicants to the market. Wait, the review board? That's today? Oh, adios, just strike me dead. I have to read the- What's up, Max? <laughs> that was great. <laughs> Welcome in. How are you? Happy Saturday. Oh, adios. Just strike me dead. I have to read those applicant evaluations right away. Lila, hurry. We've got to move it. Oh, goodness. Something tells me I won't be going to Lehman for a while. It is Sunday, yes. Oh, damn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there's. That's nine. I, I figured there would be like ten. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Sixty-nine jobs completed. What? Nice. Nice. Six and uh, look at that, we're 69 hours in as well. Nice. 